In this video, I will show you how to create dynamic web project using STS. When we install STS for the first time, it doesn't show the dynamic web project option. So we'll see how we can fix that issue. I have already downloaded Spring Tool Suit. I'm launching it now. Now I'll show you the issue. When you go to File, New, it doesn't show me dynamic web project. Now let's try to search it in from projects. Okay, I have open project. Now here I will type dynamic web project. Nothing is appearing. Okay, so to fix this issue, we need to install dynamic web related packages or website related packages into HTS. Now how to install these packages? We need to go to help menu. Then you can select install new software option. One pop-up will appear. Here we need to select latest Eclipse release. Okay. When you select this automatically from this website, it will show some options in the in the list. Now here we are talking only about uh, web related thing. So I will just open the web component. It ha already has web XML, Java E and OSJ enterprise development. So you'll see list inside this particular item to create any website i am just importing eclipse ee developer tool web developer tool javascript support only these components i need now to install this i am clicking on next button it will take some time to download the dependencies from the repository Here it is showing the complete list. I'm clicking on next button. Here we need to accept the terms and license agreement. And I'm now I'm clicking on finish button. On the left hand side bottom corner you can see it is showing installing software. It will take some time to download all the dependency. After downloading all the dependency we need to restart STS. So let's wait until all dependencies get downloaded. Now here we need to trust this certificate. So I am just clicking on this. It will automatically select all these. And I am just clicking on trust selected. Once it has downloaded all these dependencies, it will ask us to restart software. So I am restarting now. So Spring Tool Suit is restarted. Now let's create a dynamic web application and run this application. Now I'm clicking on File, New. Now here you can see it is showing dynamic web project. Now I'm just selecting dynamic web project. I will provide some name to my project. I'm providing name as my website. I'm putting its default location as it is. Then if you want you can change the that model name. Okay, I'm keeping all these things as it is Then clicking on next button Then again next then I will also want web.xml this deployment descriptor. Okay, so I'm checking this checkbox And I'm now I'm clicking on finish it will automatically create this web my website this project You can see the project is created now. Let's open this You can see there are Java resources available it has created build folder and src folder now in this i am creating so in src folder so this is the folder structure it has created now in web app i'll create one jsp page clicking on new and selecting jsp page now my first jsp page its name is index dot jsp and clicking on next i'm keeping it as it is and clicking on finish it has created one JSP page for me now I will provide name title of this page will be my website okay and inside body I will just add few headers so we already know that header tag is h1 h2 h3 I will just provide its title as this is header 1 I'll just copy paste it for a few more times 
and just change the header 1 to header 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We need to also update its closing tag. So this website is ready. Now to run this website, now it is showing some error. I will ignore this error for now. I will just right click on this and select run as run on server. I have already configured my Tomcat server, so it is showing my Tomcat. Okay, now click on next button. Already in configuration, it is showing two projects. Okay, so just now we have seen that I have created my website. Okay, so I have selected it and clicking on finish. Now it's asking me, are you want to remove the resource from the server? I'm clicking OK. So here you can see in the console. The application is run and there is no error also it has open website in the chrome browser and you can see this is my website name and uh, index is the page name and whatever i have mentioned in the header uh, in the body section okay this is the body section so whatever i have added all these things are shown on this web page now from where it picks like we have already selected we need to generate web.xml okay so that web.xml is generated in here okay now let's go to its source in the source it has already provided some welcome list file okay if any file name is any of this automatically that file will be picked and open in the browser when you run any dynamic web project so like this you can fix this dynamic web project issue in sts and you can create your first dynamic project in STS. If you are interested to join online programming classes, then you can message on this WhatsApp number and we will provide you all details about online program.